I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside. Alright y'all, so I made it to the studio and I just have to show y'all her studio because it's so fire. Oh, yeah. So I just left the studio. Here, look a mess because the window was down. Oof. I'm going to Tropical Smoothie. Yeah! I haven't been to Tropical Smoothie in months. I'm talking probably a year now. And I used to love that shit. So I'm going to go into the Tropical Smoothie, order whatever, whatever fucking smoothies in season. Oh, and they got me. There's a teriyaki spot next door. Me and teriyaki. I gotta update the vlog. So, ignore my room. I'm moving. I got home after I ate. I curled my hair. And now I'm just kind of like killing time until 10 o'clock because 10 o'clock is when I have to go to my private event. So guys, I was gonna go to work and get some footage for you guys, but it got late. And the thing about this club, I have to get there early, but I couldn't make it because I had things to do beforehand. So I'm just like, I'm not gonna go in there to pay $200 to work and like have to leave in a few hours and like not make my money back. Like as a dancer, I think there's like nothing more aggravating than and staying at home is cheaper than going to work. That's how you know we got a motherfucking issue. So I'm actually going to roll up. I have another ugh, thing weed that I can't find at the moment. So whatever. Move it like that. Yeah, so y'all looking at my naked mattress because I just washed my sheets, my closet open. I'm moving. I already said that. So um, I'm going to try to like sneak in some club footage and make sure to catch some, to record some footage while I'm there tonight. I hope it's a really good night. This is my first time doing like a private event party. So I hope there's some shmoney there, you know? I hope it's a good time. One last like, hurrah before leaving New York. So I am excited for that. Okay, I'm gonna do like a quick little like baby dancer tips and tricks. So I do wanna make a disclaimer in no way, shape or form am I promoting stripping. I'm not telling anybody to be a stripper. I will actually tell you don't become a stripper. <laughs> like don't do it just because what it looks fun, because it looks like quick money, because everybody's doing it. If you think it is the easiest way out, you are terribly wrong. So like, I got into dancing because I kind of had to at the moment to support myself financially. And it worked for what I intended it to, but it's not somewhere that, it's not something you want to do full time. Dancing as a side hustle, oh perfect. But like, living off of it, zero out of 10, do not recommend. There's a lot of things that come along with dancing. So no one really talks about the like behind the scenes or mental, and spiritual effects of like being a dancer, spicy dancer. So that is something to be mindful of. Um, this shit is not a joke, it's not a game. Like I'm gonna tell y'all something and this is like fruit for thought. Since I'm a full-time entrepreneur, 
I've been a full-time entrepreneur for a year. I've been, I was an entrepreneur before I started dancing. Started dancing to help me in my entrepreneurial business. Um, if you want to use it as a stepping stone, it can very much be that. But you got to stay dedicated. You got to stay disciplined. You got to stay committed um, as a baby dancer. Don't be afraid to experiment with your look. Have confidence. Confidence is key in this line of work. Like, don't go in there shy and timid, although it's okay to be like that, like, on your first day until you get acclimated to, like, the environment, because it is very new. And for someone like me who's never even been in a club before I started dancing, like, it's very much out of your element. So I would just say take your time. Let everybody know you're new. Like, people love a new girl. I mean, shmoney. <laughs> when I first started dancing. Like everybody loves a new girl so let them know hey i'm new it's my first time it's my first time doing this whatever the case may be they just they like to hear that shit keep your work life and personal life separate like i don't suggest building a relationship with any of the customers outside of work um definitely don't leave with them you know when it's things that comes to your safety if i'm going to talk like in detail about like tips and tricks for dancers i think that should be a separate video because like it's so much stuff that i would want to tell you guys <laughs> i got one rule for the road so i just got to my destination oh shit oh yes extra as fuck i got the flashlight on because We need good lighting. It's dark out here. So I got so caught up filming content. Content batching, actually. I forgot I'm supposed to be taking my essence away. So I just got here. Let me grab my things and go inside get some and see what the situation is in there. And I'm uh corn and chicken and chicken. What do you want? I want to early. I do not need you trying to go like that. But I'm early. Um, they running on BP time. I don't want to whisper. If they running on BP time. You know, you know. But yeah. Today the lighting just has been busting for me. Three of us in this car and. Okay, so it's currently like 2 a.m. Um, made some more money. That's not is small, but I was just coming to add it to the rest. Ever. So far, so good. The night is going well. Everybody's professional, and I'm making money. So, yeah, I can't show y'all the fit, but the blue is giving. Yeah. So, I'm going to check in later when I get off. Walking in New York City, um, classic 4 a.m. night. Oh my God! Oh shit! No oh shit! The rats all around my car. Can you call my down bitch? One who live by the code. I'm outside in the AMG, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew